ladies, this is going to be a how-to to start, record, and share your webinar. So you're going to want to go to anymeeting.com, you're going to want to go to login. I will email you the credentials that you need to put in to log in here. Alright, now there should be a box, a red box most likely, that will be above this, above this yellow box. It's going to say, please download this information, this program, to help share your screen. Go ahead and do that, it's safe, no big deal. So now when you go to your actual live meeting on Tuesday night, you're going to want, it's going to be down here and you're going to, you know, your information, the title, if it's going to be there, whatever, make sure that's yours. Double check, obviously. But I urge you before that even happens, before Tuesday night, I want you to test it. Make sure that you know what you're doing. You don't want to go on a webinar and you're not sure about things and you don't know how to do this or that. And so then, you know, the information isn't as great as the girls who wanted it to be. So you're going to want to go to start a meeting now. This is your test meeting. So I'm going to call this webinar test. You're going to start meeting. You're going to have a loading screen. It's going to download and do whatever it needs to do before your meeting. It just wants to ensure that your computer can handle and your internet can handle this. So then it's going to ask you, use my computer for audio or telephone. I would say use my computer. Also, if you have headphones or earbuds, that will be the best way to do your meeting because there will be hardly any echoing. Now when you start off your meeting, it's always going to be in listen only mode. So that you are the only one who can unmute someone and so you're the only one who's going to be heard during this during this whole meeting. Now, let's say that you're done with your webinar, you showed things, you want people to talk. So what you're going to do is you're going to go to meeting options, that's going to pop up, then you can go in Q&A mode, which I prefer over discussion mode because that will be everyone will be unmuted. So Q&A mode, people can hit star 6 to unmute themselves or if they're on the computer they can hit uh, unmute. So right now we're in listen only mode. Now, the most important thing is when you start this, you want to go to the top left and you want to hit record. So important. You don't want to do all this for nothing. So you're going to hit start recording. So load. Okay. Now everything I'm doing is being recorded. Now. This shows that my mic's off, so it's not recording me. However, you're in the webinar that you can see that your mic is lit up and, you know, so people can hear you. Now, when we go to share our screen, what we're going to do is we're actually going to upload the PDF document into the meeting. So we're going to click this guy here. Now, I've already done that. I would say that when you go to test this, go ahead and upload. So you're going to go to upload and let's say I'm going to upload this one. You know, when I send you the email, it's, I would just download it and save it somewhere where you remember. And then you're going to upload it and I hit cancel, but you would hit open and then it's going to show up here and it's going to load. It's, it might take a little while. It's a pretty big PDF. It's going to load. And then when it's done loading, you hit click, you click on it, you'll hit open presentation. Then it'll go ahead and load in here. All right, ta-da, there you go. So you're gonna go through this whole presentation. Let's say we're on you know, the last page. So then you're just gonna hit close. We're back to this. Now, we, now you know how when you see all the cameras popping up, if you would like to share your webcam, you would just hit cam and then it will ask you and you'll hit okay. And then your face will pop up. Now, after you've done all of this and you ran such an amazing meeting, you're going to want to hit the record button. So you'll be able to stop recording. And then afterwards, if you just want to chat with the people who are there, that's fine. But we just want to make sure that what's recorded is stuff that people are going to want to watch and really relate to and learn from. All right. And then after you're done with everything, you're going to hit in meeting to the top right. Just so you're aware, um, down here on the left is where the chat is. Now, you have to retype messages, whichever. This all, above that is where all the attendees are. Now, I believe that's it.
you can and then you can invite other people to the meeting. But the best way that I seem to notice is that sharing that link that you'll get, the www.anymeeting.com slash 30 wonderfuls, the number one, that's the best way to do it. What Whenever this meeting starts, I, and I believe it's always at 8 o'clock, um, you're going to send them that link. They're going to go in there at 8 o'clock. It might be like a couple minutes early that you'll be able to go in there. But as soon as the actual presenter, which would be yourself, is in this meeting and has started this meeting, you can get in there. So if you know you show up five minutes early, everyone else can show up five minutes early, which is fine. And you can start recording whenever you want. So when we're done, we're going to go to end meeting. Yes, end meeting. And then we're going to go to past meetings. And that's going to be where your meeting detail is going to be. Now, however, the recordings is where your recordings are going to be. So there's going to be a link right here. You're going to be able to copy that link, post it ev everywhere, show everyone how awesome your meeting was, and then put it in Facebook. All right, so if you have any questions, contact me. You can email me. All right, and I hope you guys have an amazing meeting.